Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Mrs. Spuds, and I'm so excited to host Sunday School today. We're gonna to be diving into something really interesting and something that you can kind of use for the rest of your life. But first off, happy Valentine's Day, and I'm so glad that you're here. I got love like an ocean. I got love like an ocean. I got love like an ocean in my soul. I got love like an ocean. I got love like an ocean. I got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain. I got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. Hi friends, Mrs. Spuds here again. We're going to start off today by reading the Bible verse that we're focusing on. So we are focusing on Matthew 7, 24 through 29. The wise and foolish builders. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, puts them into practice, is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine does not put them into practice. It's like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, and the streams rose, and the winds blew, and the beat and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teachings, because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. This is something that we really need to remember when we're building our life blocks, right? So when we are creating a life for ourselves and um, kind of getting older and noticing different things in the world, we want to create that awesome foundation so that we can rely on that foundation later on in life. And I think that's why creating such a great faith foundation is so positive for our lives moving forward. So the parable that has to do with this verse goes into the story that Jesus tells us in this passage about a man who builds his house upon a rock. Think about what a rock is and what it feels like. It's very strong and sturdy. Jesus is like a rock. When we have Jesus in our lives, it is like we are standing on a rock. We are not going to fall down when Jesus is holding us up. We have to rely on Jesus with every part of our lives. If we do not rely on Jesus, he, I mean, sorry, if we do rely on Jesus, he will not let us fail. Those are really powerful words. Just like I said before, I think that when we create those foundations of faith and we rely on God, we have a foundation that can carry us through a lot of hard times in life because inevitably, sometimes things don't go the way that we have planned. And when we have God in our life, when we rely on Jesus, it's there to catch us, it's there to guide us, and to make sure that we understand that good things are coming. We are now gonna go into a little video of Natalie and I. Hey Murphy, what's going on? Hey, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you were able to answer the phone. Thanks for answering so quickly. Of course, oh, what's, awesome. what's going on? What do you need? Well, I really wanted to make a smoothie, but I kind of forgot like what goes in a smoothie mm. and the building blocks to make a good smoothie with the ingredients and stuff. So I was wondering okay, if you could yeah. kind of help me and tell me what to put in my smoothie. Okay, well, well, I really like smoothies too. So mm, something I always put in my smoothie is mm, bananas. Do you have bananas? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got one of those. Okay. That'd be Alrighty. Pretty. Putting some banana in there. Okay, I've got banana. All right. Um, you should probably put some other fruit in there too. Do you have any like berries or anything? Yeah, yeah, let me, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got some right here. Okay, I've got some frozen berries, is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Put those in there. And then I usually put in almond milk. 
Uh, what does almond milk look like? Uh, almond milk, it's, it's white as an almond on the container. Oh, so like this? No, that's, no, that's not almond milk. But it's white. But that's not almond milk. You gotta look for the thing that says almond milk. Okay. Uh... <laughs> it won't be good if you put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. Oh, I think I found it. Is this it? Yes, there we go. Oh, That's okay. it. Why don't you put awesome. some of that in there? Okay, I'm gonna put a cup of that. Okay. okay. Awesome. I've got that in there. So now what do I do? And then the last thing you need is some almond butter. Okay. Um what type of thing is that in? Is it in a bag? It's in a jar. It's like in a jar. Oh, okay. I've got something in a jar here. That no, that's tomato sauce. <laughs> you, oh. don't want to put that, you don't want to put that in. Oh, you're tomato. right. <laughs> okay. You oh, want here it is. I got some almond butter. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you have all the correct ingredients now. Well, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to find all those good ingredients. Yeah, well, you're going to have a really good smoothie because now that you have Thanks. all the right ingredients. Thank you so much for helping me. Of course. You know what, Murphy? This reminds me of life. You know, when you have all the right uh. ingredients and building blocks in life and you have a good faith foundation, you're going to make awesome things, just like that smoothie. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Natalie. I really appreciate it. That was such an of awesome course. little lesson in just making a smoothie. There we go. Enjoy your smoothie. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. Bye. So the parable that has to do with this verse goes into the story that Jesus tells us in this passage about a man who builds his house upon a rock. Think about what a rock is and what it feels like. It's very strong and sturdy. Jesus is like a rock. When we have Jesus in our lives, it is like we are standing on a rock. We are not going to fall down when Jesus is holding us up. We have to rely on Jesus with every part of our lives. If we do not rely on Jesus, he, I mean, sorry. If we do rely on Jesus, he will not let us fail. Those are really powerful words. Just like I said before, I think that when we create those foundations of faith and we rely on God, we have a foundation that can carry us through a lot of hard times in life because inevitably, sometimes things don't go the way that we have planned. And when we have God in our life, when we rely on Jesus, it's there to catch us, it's there to guide us and to make sure that we understand that good things are coming. We are now gonna go into a little video of Natalie and I, and then after that, we are going to look at a song that Natalie and I sang together. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. 
But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh-oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Before we end today, I'm going to go ahead and pray us out. If we want to fold our hands and bow our head. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us an example of how to create a good foundation in our lives with you. We know that with the foundation of you in our lives, we will be able to conquer things that might come into our life. Thank you so much for always being there for us and loving us for who we are. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.